I'm gonna show you how to get your video to play inside of your text in iMovie just like this. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So first I want to go down here to Keynote. Then I'm going to click on New Document. And I want to make sure I have Wide selected because if you don't, the video isn't going to line up with the text and it's going to look a mess. So just make sure that you have Wide selected so that the aspect ratio is correct. And then I'm going to click on Black and then click Choose. Real quick, I want to adjust my view. And I'm going to click on the subtitle, press delete. I'm going to go ahead and throw some text inside of here. So, start off with the text, mask. And then what I want to do is I want to line it up vertically. I'm going to go ahead and change my font. Then what I want to do next is I want to adjust the size of my video text. So the reason I do this, I stretch this out is because Keynote will try to downsize the text and I don't want that to happen later on. So to mitigate that, I just expand the box. I want to bring up my font size. I'll change this to, let's say 800. And I want to bring down my lines so that I have plenty of room for my video to fit inside. It's nice and close together. So next, I want to change the color. I want to make sure that we change the color of our text to green because we're going to be using the green screen feature in iMovie here shortly. Go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. So it takes up the majority of the frame and it's centered. Next thing I want to do is I want to come over here to animate. I'm going to click on build in and I'm going to click on add effect. What I want to do is I want to do the scale effect. So this is the one that I want. I'm going to click that for build in. Next, I'm gonna go over to duration. So you have to keep in mind the clip that you wanna put this on. So for me, my clip's a little bit shorter, so I'm just gonna make this about four seconds. And if you wanna make sure that it looks the way that you want it to, just click on preview. And that's how, that's how it's gonna look. So next, I'm gonna to go to build out, which I don't really wanna mess with, but I can click on action and I can add an additional effect, as well as I can add an additional effect to make the text go away but I just want that build-in effect and we'll do it for, let's say seven seconds, sure. I just wanna go down here to build order and I'm gonna click on after transition. Let's click on this X. And now we're ready to export. Next, I'm gonna go to export to, click on movie. Then the only thing you need to worry about is resolution. We wanna change this to 1080p so we get the max resolution for this video. We're gonna title this real quick. I'll title this text mask. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Just press export. Next thing we're going to do is go over into iMovie. Go up here to this little drop down arrow. I'm going to select my desktop. I'm going to grab text mask and I'm going to import that. From there, I'm just going to drag it down here onto my timeline. I can line this up how I see fit. Make sure that it's in line with my video. And then I'm going to select my text clip. And then I'm going to click on green slash blue screen. And what that'll do is it should automatically detect the green text and make it transparent. If it doesn't, you can go over here, you can click on the eraser tool and you can come in here and click on the green text. And that tells iMovie to get rid of that green color. And that's it. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.